I will come back. We've made a tutorial how to make a package build and then eventually also put it on AOR. Which leaves us with a result similar like this, Pambudi. And we know that there is a package, Openbox Team Sambudi, everybody can install now. Now, it's always good practice to start with a, well, easier approach and then go to a more difficult approach. What we've done already is get into the details of packaging and how to put it on AOR. So that's basically what we've done. So this package build, control C, is what we've been working on. Delete, that's the last version. Now what I've done in the meantime, there has been some changes in the meantime, I've made a second package. So that means if you've, um, if you've installed it and I update it and I push it to the GitHub, which is simple uh, .git in our case, remember, Drawbox. We, I just change the number in here and I say run this thing. I just say this command and I say release two in the commit and that's it. And everything is online on the AOR and your systems, your yay system or Trizen will have a look and say, oh, there's a new version online, number two, let's get it. That's basically what happens. Now there is something else I would like to discuss, which is Installing, let's see, first Arch, Linux, Wiki maybe, and then installing in a clean shroot. Let's see if the word shroot comes out. And let's start reading again. A shroot is an operation that changes the parent root directory for the current running process and their children. The program that is run in such a modified environment cannot access files and commands outside that environmental directory tree. It's like this kind of jail, okay? So it means it's going to um, run things in there. But this is as interesting as interesting as it is. Uh, we already have a made. We have already have made an article about it. Arco Linux. Let's see if Google finds it. Arch Fruit. This is the most powerful thing ever on your system. You can always fix your computer with Arch Shroot. Use the power of Arch Shroot when your computer, if your computer crashes, okay? So it's still relevant. Dates are not important, it's still relevant. Fine, but that's not what I wanted to do, actually. Um, is it in here? What I want to do is package something in a Shroot environment. So I'm looking for something specific and maybe it's not on this page. So, and then packaging. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I want to have. Developer wiki, building in a clean shroud. So we were building, we're make package, right? We were building something in a particular environment. Well, my environment, this computer, as is with it, all its packages, Ctrl T. Uh, how many packages were the number? 2,240 packages, okay? It's okay, it's fine, you have made a beautiful package. But could you improve it? Yes, you could, with um, developer wiki, yeah? building in a clean shroud. Why, it says, so let's start reading. Building in a clean shroud prevents missing dependencies in packages, whether due to an unwanted linking or packages missing in a depends area, array, in the package build. There were no problems and everything built just fine. But we can do this, we can do this. Help is on the way. To quickly build a package in a clean shroud without any further tinkering, one can use the helper scripts DevTools package. Hmm. Follow the link, you'll see, okay, DevTools. Wondering, DevTools, do we have that? Do I have that? No, I don't, All right? Tools for Arch Linux package maintainers. Click. All right, apply. Got it. What do I get? I get upper, upper util, bzr, and tev tools and some stuff. Okay, fine. Never mind. Get it. Oh, move it out of the way. Let's continue reading. 
Then, these helper scripts should be called in the same directory where the package build is. Yes, okay, got it. Just like with main package. We've seen that. I can do that, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, updates it, builds packages, and so on. Fine, minus C. Parameter resets the shrewd matrix. Sounds nice, right? I'm thinking already about the video. Well, the, the film. Trilogy, if I say that correctly. <laughs> which can be useful in case of breakage. Uh-huh. It's not needed for building in a clean shoot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Core is omitted because the spec is required to get through testing, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all kind of files we can use. Use the share dev tools, probably got some extra in. User share dev tools user share dev tools so stuff is in here and we can have a look at it and what all the differences are this is from us this is from us this is from us okay so all these guys they should differ at some point somewhere Staging, control find, staging, okay, staging, multi lip means multi lip is activated, and so on. Get it, okay. Classic way, a uh, way setting up shoot, okay. Let's get these our hands dirty, like this, eh? No, you should stay on this screen. So that we can start, uh, keep reading in the video. That way, and then that way there. We're still in open box. The styling happens with super and then a separate keyboard, keypad, and then you press your numbers, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Make directory in Shroot. Mm, yeah, if you want to. But if you want to, you can also make it in documents. And that's where I put it. So it's out of the way. You don't see it when you have this overview. It's going to be in documents. So, okay. So let's do it in documents. Documents. Shroot. Enter. I've created myself a shoot directory. I could have done as easily create folder. I know. Okay, we're following this. Define the shroot variable. Okay, shroot is, and then your home directory, and then documents, and then shroot. Done. Echo shroot. Correct. No typos allowed. Now create a shroot subdirectory. Root is required because the shroot directory will get other subdirectories for cleaning working copies. All right. Now I'm go not gonna type. I'm gonna copy paste. Control C, Control Shift V. Make me an arch root in that directory. Shroot, which is home documents shroot. Root, base well. I better open this, I think. Enter. Okay. And there we go. He is building something on my computer called root, containing all the important packages. What are important packages? Well, auto conf, auto make, fake root, system D stuff, pseudo stuff, Linux as well, I think. The kernel. Let's have a look. Scroll through it. Happy headers. Auto make is important. Pacman is there. System D is there. And everything is installed. And it's a little Arch Linux on its own. Completely unaware that it's actually um, on my Arch Linux system. This is a little Arch Linux system running on its own having its own etc, its own pacman.conf and all that. But 
well you see it already here this is grayed out just wanted to point out that it's all root you're not in control this is all root okay done that note one can also define the shroot variable in the home bash rc yes we could uh, if the location is to be repeated use re is to be repeatedly used don't have ptrf skip it etc make back conf to set the packager name and any make flags we've done it in the other video with main we've used um, we've changed the package name from john doe to eric dubois also adjust the mirror list in the shooter and enable the testing repo if it's needed it's not needed uh, nothing to test here the mm and home variables are resolved to the root so if you type home then it's actually um, this home yeah that's this home which is control H super clean I guess so Super clean. No bash or see anything. Then custom pacman conf. Alternatively, provide a custom pacman and pacman conf with the following. Go and put this thing in there. Shrewd rules base development. Okay. Don't need it. We're not doing that. Firstly, make sure the base shroud is up to date so that's the command we need to do Control shift v arch and spawn okay so we're going inside this folder shroud root we're going inside and we're going to pause on a command say hey get everything but we've just done it so yeah it's up to date then build the package by calling the make root package in the directory containing its package build. This thing, control C. There are some command, some flags we need to figure out. Man, make root. Nothing there. Okay, we have the application. That's something. Then help will do if there's no man. Then you use the help function. And we look. C means clean the shroud before building. That's good. R means shroud directory to use. So R, that's where it should go. So we can use more shrouds if we want. I have one for external applications and one for the Arclonic stuff. So I keep them separate. So, okay. Um, so we know. Basically, we're gonna run this thing. Control C, Control Shift V, and then it's actually going to build inside this thing here, inside this little world, Arch Linux world here. Thinking it's a computer, it's gonna make me my package, and there we have it. We have an open box Team Spambuidi Git package. Where is it? Well, present working directory. It's in here you see we were actually doing our work in the drawbox i believe let's take a look and super shift return maximize drawbox not a smart thing to do it here but doesn't matter so yeah here we were or were we on the desktop i don't recall i guess not i guess not everything is in here so Control H. This needs to go later on. This is the lock. Let's have a look. Nothing to see. Nice. It's always better to have an empty lock. <laughs> so this is the package we've created with our um, well new way, new approach, our shoot thing, and it will have some differences. And the differences are also in the files you can see. This contains only the packages that are on um, in this shroud, in this jail world from Arch, right? This is just it. 
there's nothing more. And as you know, on my installation, I have 1,248. So my list is longer if I build it on my machine than I do an arch root. That's already a visual uh, difference. Main tree, and I guess not. And package info will be, this I think is a hint that we've done a shroot. Not sure, I do not know for sure. But this is some um, information that's also in there. And that's it. And the rest is all the same. Licenses go there and the themes go here. And that's all good. So we have our build ourselves now a package inside a shroot. So cleaned everything up again. If you building then well this folder is to put our updates online on the AUR. And with Robux, I synced everything, of course. So now I've deleted everything again. So if you wanna build things like that in Shrewd, well, put, it, put them somewhere else, not on your place where you're gonna update AUR because you're gonna forget and you're gonna make mistakes and push everything online on the Arch Linux. Not a good thing to do, Eric. So we ha should have started just here and um, started our tutorials in here but it's good right you know you should never push anything on the UR that's that's rubbish so that's the way to go that's how we can shoot things um, the thing is it's not fun to do that over and over again again and remember all these things again and again so maybe it's a good time to make a script right so control H, let's put it in a separate folder. Let's call it um, clean package build or something. Clean build, like so. This thing, that's the package build. Put that in here. And let's make a script that actually does what we didn't did uh, manually now. So creating documents, empty file. Um, I just call it built and then version one, etc. So version one, numlock on, like so. Make sure it's executable, make executable or schmot plus x and then the file name and the terminal. And we have our content. Let's kill everything else, close other tabs. And then we just, um, well, do this and copy paste again, again, and again. This time we're gonna do building in shoot. We don't have to do everything. The make directory shoot, no, right? Um, the setting the shoot thing, probably, because, well, if you don't want to set it somewhere, so this one, if you don't want to put it in your badge or C, and frankly, I don't care, if it's where it is, as long as if the system knows it, then it's just good, right? So I'm putting it in here. Because of the Arch Linux installation and the scales we do, it gets overwritten all the time. So it's just in a build. We normally do a shebang thing. I don't know it by heart, so I'm gonna get my shebang thing. Um, oh yeah, let's, let's show you guys the package builds. No, I should go online always online is the shebang online sure is sure is Arch Linux github it's all there the knowledge go and get it um, building building package build right well third party doesn't really matter it's gonna be a build somewhere. Build version 21. That's the shebang. And that's what the way how I've programmed everything. You can take a look at that. Let's keep it simple. So if you put this one in, in the top here, then it knows this guy, hey, I'm gonna use my bash, my shebang, and he's going to run this thing. Now, you go over there. 
So this is created. The shroud was the home, the documents. Uh, what else did I do? After that, I showed you. Then I'm gonna do that because that's already done. So that's a step I can skip. This is updating whatever is inside that uh, root folder. So that's needed. In a week from now, there will be new stuff. I need to do this one. Then help, no, not needed. This is needed. So this is going to make the package inside root with a T. Did I include the T? I'm not sure. Control Shift T, Control V. Also good. What else do I need? Present working directory and all that. I think that's it. Let's take a look at the left, well, right. So we've done that, base development. Package management building, that's this one. As up to date, we've done that one. Then we make it package. What's this? We yeah. haven't looked at that one. Pre-install required packages, you can do that as well. Install other things, build dependency, required patches, such and such. Passing arguments to make, it, make package. Handling major rebuilds. And then some tips and tricks. Okay, yeah, that's one of the tips I actually shared with people online. People were running out of file space on their temporary file. So you may think, if you might think, I thought it anyway, that in the past, that the temp file would be just uh, not possible to fill it up. It will be just the rest of your hard disk. No, it's not the case. It does have a limitation. I don't know if, um, if it shows somehow, yeah, probably is, but anyway, that's not the point of the video. So that's indeed limited and we can set it with a command to make it bigger. But does this work though? That's what we need to check out as well. This is the build command working. So Eric has a folder up here somewhere, clean build, have a package. This is of, this is of course a wrong name. You should rename it to give it a package name. In this sense, well, let's do it the way it should be done. You always give it the name that uh, what it contains, really. So we're gonna build this one, Open Box Team Spam Body. That's all it needs to know. And now we're gonna build it. And off we go. And if we did not forget anything, the end result is a nice package that has been built in a clean shroud. And that's why my package is a little bit longer. After installation, I want to not be not be uh, cleaning up every file that's in here, but just get this thing here, move this thing to my repos, sign it. That's one thing I do more, and then it's it's okay. So this is the way to clean install, but it's it's this thing is needed for Arch Linux ISO. It's not needed for you at home. It's not needed for the AUR. This is needed if you want to build something that other people will use on your ISO later on. So this is the cleanest install possible. And that's because of this wiki that's here available. I hope that's um, also something interesting. Um, so slowly but surely we are filling in some of the gaps that people have when they want to build an ISO for themselves. So it will come in here talking about repos and talking about package builds. And um, this one is going in the package builds department and Calamaris things because remember Calamaris, I should actually add this as well. 
we've made an Arculinux Calamari series, 28 videos of them. So definitely need to put the playlist in here. Um, so you can figure out how to make your own Linux version. Okay, that's it. That's how you do a clean installation. They call it shrouting, I believe. Let's see what the name is, a clean shroot. All right, enjoy.